Hi everyone, um, my name is Amy. Uh, today I'm going to be talking through using Stata with Stanford's FarmShare. Um, FarmShare is a way that Stanford affiliated folks can access different softwares um, for free um, just through a shared computing space. So the first step is to download some necessary software. Um, what this software does is it allows us to have an interactive Stata window um, that looks pretty similar to if you um, owned your own version of um, Stata. So this software uh, varies a little bit depending on whether you have a Mac or a PC. Um, I have a Mac, so throughout this tutorial, I'm gonna be going through the process um, for Mac users. Um, but if you have a PC, the instructions are written on this document, um, which will be in the background of the video. So you should be able to follow along and the sort of general idea is pretty much the same. So for those of you who have a Mac, um, you'll need to download a software called XQuartz. Um, you can do so at xquartz.org. Uh, I already have this downloaded on my computer, um, so I'm gonna st skip this step for now, um, but you should download it. If you have a PC, you're gonna download two other um, different softwares. So what's really key about using uh, FarmShare is uh, the way that you access your files is slightly different. So instead of storing files on your computer, you'll store all of your files that you wanna use um, with Stata in your Stanford AFS space. Um, so this AFS space is a, sh a sort of um, shared storage space um, and you'll have to access everything through afs.stanford.edu. Um, so this is a little bit of a, an adjustment. Um, so you'll, you'll no longer have things on your computer, but rather you'll keep them in this uh, storage space. So to get to AFS, it's just afs.stanford.edu. Um, you'll have to log in. I've already logged in, so this is what it will look like. Um, you can see that you have an AFS directory path here. Um, this is gonna be really important once we have Stata open um, because this is what allows us to access uh, the files that are stored on AFS. Um, you probably won't, if you've never used AFS before, you probably won't have as many um, folders in your AFS directory. Um, but what I recommend is having one folder for any class or any project um, with which you're using AFS. Um, so I'm making this video um, because I'm a teaching assistant for a class called Social 180B. So you can see here, I have a folder called Social 180B. Um, and in this folder, you would basically keep everything that you uh, would want to use with Stata for this particular class, or if it was a project for this particular project. Here in this folder, um, I have a little data set called salary.dta, um, and I'm gonna show you how to access this uh, data. Um, you would probably have to upload from your computer any data sets or any files that you wanna use with Stata into this shared AFS space. Okay, so once we have our AFS set up and we kind of understand how to access it, um, now it's time to open Stata with FarmShare. And to do so, you're gonna use the applications that we just downloaded. So on a Mac, you're gonna use XQuartz, so I'm gonna open XQuartz. And what you're gonna do with XQuartz is you're gonna open a terminal window through XQuartz. Um, so I'm gonna do that by going to Applications and then Terminal. And so here I have a little terminal window, um, but I'm accessing it through this application called XQuartz rather than through the terminal that's built into my computer. Okay, so now we're gonna log into FarmShare um, and we do this um, by typing SSH hyphen capital X and then your SUNET ID at rice.stanford.edu. Rice is one of the many computing platforms that Stanford has, um, and it's the one that I recommend using if you're just starting out with FarmShare. Um, at some point, you may need more computing power, and then you might switch to a different platform, um, but Rice is fine for now. Then you're gonna press Enter. The password that you type in is just your regular SUNET ID login, um, and you'll have to do two-factor authentication. So now we can see that um, we have a little image that says FarmShare, so we know we're logged into FarmShare, and then there's some information here about using FarmShare more generally. Um, and so now we have two steps that we need to do before we can actually use Stata in FarmShare. The first is that we need to tell FarmShare to get Stata ready for us or load the Stata module. And we're gonna do this by typing module load Stata SE 15. 
So this command doesn't really do anything um, except in the background where it gets uh, stata ready for us to use. Um, and now to actually use it, we're going to type x stata and. If you have a PC, um, note the instructions here um, because they're slightly different, um, but it's almost the same process. Okay. So now what's going to happen is FarmShare is going to launch a Stata window that looks very similar to what you would see if you actually owned the Stata application on your computer. It looks a little old school, but it has all the functionality of the Stata application um, and you can basically do everything you need to do. With Stata, we mostly work in what are called do files. And when you're using Stata through FarmShare, it's especially important to have all of your documentation um, saved in a do file since uh, you're working in this shared space um, rather than on your own computer. You just wanna make sure that um, you're really keeping good documentation. So we, to access the do file editor, um, we click this little button, which is a piece of paper with a pencil. Um, and then it opens a do file, which if you've seen any other um, information about Stata, this should look pretty familiar to you. So I always write my name on do files and then a little description of what they do. So this is an example do file for Stata with FarmShare. And if you've worked in Stata before, you know that the first step in your do file is setting your working directory. Um, and here's where it's really important that we remember that we're using uh, a shared computing space. Um, so our working directory needs to match our AFS folder that we just set up earlier. In Stata, the command to set a working directory is called CD and then the file path in quotes. And in order to get the file path, I'm going to go back over here to my AFS directory and I'm going to use this file path here as my working directory in Stata. To run commands in the Stata through FarmShare window, um, just like in regular Stata, um, you highlight the commands and then you're going to come over here and press this little button here, um, which is called the do button, um, and that will run the command. So you can see now I've set my working directory. This is a good point to save your do file to make sure you're not losing any of your work, um, and we'll just do that through file save as. And what's nice is that Stata will automatically set the file path for the do file um, to your working directory. So you can see I'm already uh, in the social 180 db folder that I made on my AFS space, and that's where this do file is automatically going to save to. I could also play around. I could just save it in my regular AFS space, um, but I'm going to keep everything together with social 180 db So this I'm going to call example, and I'm going to save it. Here, I basically can interact with Stata as I normally would. Um, so for example, I'm just going to walk you through opening a data set, um, and then that's it. <laughs> uh, from there, you can do whatever you need to do. Um, so if you remember, I have a data set saved in my AFS folder called salary.dta. Um, if you wanted to use your own data or any data set, you would need to upload that into your AFS space before you could use it um, through Stata through FarmShare. Um, so I'm just going to type the command, use that data set. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to run it. And now we can see that I have this data set open in my Stata window. Um, I could run commands in the display window or in the command line here. Um, and it will output the information here as well. Um, I can also type any commands I want here um, in the do file, highlight them, and run them from here. Another important thing to know about using Stata through FarmShare is that normally if you would use keyboard shortcuts to save, um, that they're not really going to work. So um, you have to be really careful and make sure that you are saving um, all of your do files or any other work that you've done um, manually through the click windows. Once you're done, um, you can just close the windows like this. Um, you'll end up back in the export terminal window where you can just type exit and then you'll all be exited out. 
So that's a brief tutorial about how to access data through FarmShare. Um, and uh, best of luck as you try it out yourself.